Someone asked how to draw the stick figures in perspective or at angles. In my class, Stick Figures with Style, there's a link below. I go over drawing some stick figures to get our basic shapes for some action poses. I've been doing a lot of yard work lately, raking and, and digging and building a deck. You're just getting the, some of those dip, basic shapes going. Now you want to try to maybe see how to draw them at different angles. Start building out the form a little more. So this character here, he's kind of turned away from us a little bit and working on raking here. Just go a little bigger and kind of define which way they're looking. So the way I do that is to put some construction lines to see which way they're looking like. This could be the center line of the face. So we take a circle for the face, you know, here's the eyes and the, and the nose. So now on a sphere, we try to get the the shape and put those center lines here and we, then we could put the eyes there then we start building out we want to make sure we're balanced too that they're standing here and now we can start boxing in some of those shapes that are that build the body and I would suggest finding some books on figure drawing the basics of figure drawing and that'll really help but now this way we could add a little form and show that the arms are Kind of turn this way and we can foreshorten the forearm so i just use cylinders and boxes and spheres to kind of put together all of the parts for the figure and i'm not trying to be photo real or anything i'm still you know stick figure cartoon and now we could put the put the rake in here and the rake could be whatever angle it's, maybe it's like that or maybe it, he's holding it like this that actually makes more sense here so I'm going after a big tumbleweed. So now we can take an ink pen and define some of these ideas. And really, I was wearing sunglasses and a hat. And then, you know, you could put the clothing on, and the clothing, of course, is kind of outside of the form. draw the stick all the way and got the blue jeans on
plant it on the ground and going after the tumbleweeds. Kicking up dust. Come up with a couple more ideas. Drawing them at an angle. Here's one way to think about it is, you know, get a horizon line going and there's a little lesson in perspective. Maybe get a book on perspective that will help clarify some of the ideas here. You have a horizon line, which is where the where the ground meets the sky. And generally when we're standing and looking at the horizon, the horizon is at eye level. So let's say this stick figure is just standing and, and looking at the camera and he's on a on a sidewalk. So the sidewalk goes off into the distance to this little focal point here. That's my uh, vanishing point. Somebody else is like on the sidewalk, but look a little farther behind him, but maybe looking in the other way, but they're still gonna, their eye is still on the horizon line and maybe they're standing sideways and kind of looking off in this direction. And, and there, there could be exceptions too, like this other person had to tie their shoe or something. So now they, their eye goes off of the horizon line and they're bent over. And tying their shoe, but they're still farther back in perspective. And then we could have someone who's really close in the foreground sort of Maybe not looking back, but look, but looking off in this direction. You know, maybe they're looking, looking at their phone or something. You know, you're waiting in line for that, for the, uh, <laughs> we went to a, like a comic con or anime convention once and the line was super long and you just all these people were just standing in line going off in the distance here so now we can ink this in start from the front work my way back Make up some faces and and they're kind of turned in this direction, so you 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 maybe want to get that perspective going down to this vanishing point. I'm working on this vanishing point. And the shoulders are, are going in that direction. And maybe they got their hand on their hip. So you can kind of block that in. And this is good practice for me because I may have a, a freelance opportunity to do some storyboards. So it's good to keep practicing.
Hands on the hips is kind of my go-to pose to just sort of show figures. Oh, we gotta draw the phone too. And this person, we could do like a profile. And they're just looking off in the other direction. But when you talk about getting the perspective going, think about your vanishing point or where they're standing and which way they're turned. And this one, this one's tying their shoe. Maybe they got a hat on. Get the foot down in here. Draw some loops for tying. And more people waiting in line. And you can just kind of be a little more simplified to just indicate as you go off in the distance, they get more like stick figures. And maybe we could have, oh, well, here's our sidewalk too. So that's how I would approach it. I, I would just think about which way they're looking. In this case, maybe this figure is looking back in this direction. And you can block in the the chest and the, and the hips. The hips is a box. And I, I draw like circles for the knees. I use this thing a lot to get ideas for for poses. You know, it's a box on the top for the upper torso and a box on the bottom for the hips. And then balls and cylinders for shoulders, elbows, upper arm, lower arm, upper leg, lower leg, balls for the knees and hips. And this is real helpful for uh, getting ideas on how to turn the angle. So you just turn it around and you can see how all the different shapes are going out in perspective. Well, I hope that helps a little bit here. You know, it's almost like uh, Like a, ro like a robot. Just draw little boxes and connect everything together. There's a little circle for the, the torso and then a circle for the hips.
And I, I won't mention any names, but this is a couple of my favorite kinds of uh, just some fun things to do with your pen and ink or your pencil and then the horizon line you can have mountains and buildings and we'll go we'll go a little sci-fi And you just build a, build a scene by thinking about which way things are turned. And I hope that helps.